everyone my name is Ben and maybe you're thinking about getting a new heat pump system and if so you may be thinking how much is this going to cost me well in this video I'm going to go over some of the prices you can expect to face and in addition I'll give you some tips on how you can save money and how you can handle the process of getting estimates from contractors and in addition I'll cover some of the major brands and some of the things you want to look for now my wife and I moved into our first home about five and a half years ago and unfortunately after about a year the heat pump gave up it was about a 12 year old unit at the time it was a cheap contractor unit and we knew that it was time to just go ahead and replace it because the newer units are more energy efficient and on top of that there's a new refrigerant out now and so that's what we did and the average lifespan for a heat pump is about 10 to 20 years with 15 being average so that's kind of the span of life you can expect to get out of a heat pump system before it gets to the point where it's either going to be so energy inefficient that it's not even worth it or you're going to have so many part failures that you may as well just go ahead and fork out the money for a new one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through a quick rundown the pricing is going to depend on numerous factors. If you're just changing out a system, let's say you already have the duct work in place and all you have to do is change out the condenser unit and the air blower or the air handler unit, you're probably going to look anywhere between $4,000 to $10,000. And this includes the sales tax, the price of the contractor doing the work and all that. If you have to get a completely new unit and they're going to have to do the duct work and drill through the floor and all that, it's going to increase the cost quite a bit. And you're probably looking at between six to twelve thousand dollars for a new unit and again it could even be a little bit more than that if you go for the super high energy efficient units or if you're you have a large square footage home and you have to get a dual heat pump system or something like that but for the average home maybe between 1200 to 1800 square foot that's the price range you're probably going to come to expect now when i got estimates for a heat pump system i went with i got estimates from three different contractors and that's one thing i would recommend is you get at least three to four estimates of different contractors so you can kind of see the different pricing listen to them to see what they can offer you and this was about 2013 is when i got these estimates the first contractor for a for a train heat pump system 15 sear two and a half ton with a three ton air handler um, the cost was going to be $5,495 and that was to remove the old system and just swap it out. I already had the duct work in place so that's how much that estimate was. I also got quoted a Goodman by the same contractor with the same specs, 15 sear, 2.5 condenser with 3 ton air handler and this was going to be $5,475. It was a little cheaper but this one came with a 10 year parts and labor warranty whereas the train was just going to have a 10-year parts warranty and one-year parts and labor warranty or labor warranty so basically the Goodman was cheaper but they factored in a 10-year uh, labor warranty with that so that's why it was just only a little bit cheaper typically Goodman are quite a bit cheaper than train because train is a higher end unit for the second contractor I got and this just shows you how much the pricing can fluctuate for a 13 sear train two and a half ton again and three ton air handler the price was six thousand one hundred fifteen dollars and for a 15 sear train from this other contractor they were going to charge seven thousand one hundred sixteen dollars and these prices to me are kind of high because i had never known how much a heat pump costs i figured it cost maybe a couple thousand dollars because you go into these stores and you have these window units and they're only a couple hundred dollars i thought well surely heat pumps only like fifteen hundred dollars no you can expect to pay between four thousand to eight thousand dollars for a contractor to come and install one of these things ultimately what my wife and i decided to do we got a third estimate about a year later and this was in 2014 from another contractor for an american standard and that is also the same brand as train basically it's the same manufacturer and it has the same parts in it for a two and a half ton condensing unit with a three ton air handler the cost was forty eight hundred dollars and we went with this contractor because we had a good feeling about him he had a legitimate business he was nice and he did offer on the low end of pricing a lot of people recommend you go with a person in the middle but with him he just he was going to offer so much more he was a nice guy he wasn't presumptuous when he came to give the estimate and i really had a good feeling about him and it turned out it was a great decision but anyway forty eight hundred dollars is how much we ended up paying for a heat pump 
Now I'm going to quickly go through some of the things that are going to, to uh, affect the pricing that you may face. And the first thing is brand. When you go to get a heat pump system, whatever brand you choose is gonna make the price quite a bit of difference. Like I said, with these estimates, a Goodman is gonna be cheaper than these more established brands. Train and American Standard are pretty much the best brand. You'll find these have the best reviews. Most people recommend them. They really have a pretty strong hold on the heat pump market as being a quality product. They, ha they tend to have aluminum parts inside rather than copper which means that they tend to last a little longer and like i said i went with american standard which is pretty much the same as train we've had it a year now and it has worked great we don't have any complaints at all the second best brand is probably carrier and then after that you have a lot of different brands goodman um, it's came a long way but some people say it's good some people say it's not um, but a lot of people do have Goodman heat pumps. Ream, Linux, York are some other brands you may face when you're getting estimates. And a lot of houses will have like a contractor cheap unit, which is like a no-name unit that uh, it's a really cheap brand. They tend not to last long at all. The contractors will get these in the bulk and just install them when they're installing new houses sometimes. So you want to avoid the contractor unit probably. But I would, I would recommend train or american standard or carrier are the best but i would really recommend train or american standard it does cost a little more obviously if you go with one of these other brands you're going to find a cheaper price but it really just depends on your goals because if you plan on moving out of your home soon or if this is a rental property or something and you don't really care so much about the longevity or something like that then you could always go with a less expensive brand but the brand alone is going to potentially increase the price by anywhere from $500, maybe even up to $1,000. The second thing that's going to have an influence on the price is the SEER, or the Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. And this just determines how energy efficient your unit's going to be. And the higher the number, the more efficient the unit will be. I ended up going with the 13 SEER, which is the bottom line that you can get now. And... The reason I did is because we may move and we really don't use our heat pump a lot, really just a couple months during the summer and during the winter I tend to keep the house quite cool and we don't need it that much. So I went with the 13 sear because I didn't think the higher energy efficiency unit would really pay off over the life of the unit. But you can go 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, even up to like 20, 21, 22 sear sometimes on heat pumps. And again, the higher you go, the more they're going to cost. Like a it could cost thousands more, for example, for a 20 sear versus just a 13 sear. So if you want to save money, you'll go for the bare minimum. And again, you just want to look at your goals and see how long do I plan to live in this home? How much am I going to run the heat pump year round? If you live in a super hot climate or a cooler climate where you, you plan to run your heat pump around the year and around the clock, then you probably do want to go with at least a 14 or 15 or 16 sear because it may pay off in energy savings. But we went with the 13 sear and we're happy with that decision. Finally, the labor and the parts and how much work is going to be involved is going to be a huge influence in the price. For example, if they have to run new duct work or adjust your duct work because maybe the initial contractor did a shoddy job, that could increase the price. And if it's a new install, they're going to have to certainly install new duct work. It depends also. Um, the size of the condenser and air handler and that's usually sized by tonnage so for example my home it's just a standard small home we got a 2.5 ton condenser with a three ton air handler and so those are some things that you look at if you're getting like say if you have a larger home and you have to get a three ton or a three and a half ton or four ton you can expect to pay anywhere from a thousand to two thousand more because it's just a larger unit and if you have a smaller home where maybe you only have to have one and a half or two ton then again you're going to save a little bit of money but you want to make sure that they size the tonnage right because your heat pump needs to run enough to dehumidify the home especially during the summer months instead of just kicking on and kicking off and if they oversize the unit then it won't run enough to dehumidify and it'll feel cool and clammy and instead you want it to dehumidify so you want to make sure that they run a check on your home to make sure what tonnage you'll need. A lot of times they'll install a new thermostat and they may want to install a drip pan. 
Another thing that could influence the cost is whether or not you want them to replace the copper lines that attach if you have a split system, which means the condenser unit's outside, but the air handler is inside. That copper line that connects them, uh, you may want to consider having that replaced. I opted to go ahead and have that replaced in my unit because I didn't want any issues with the soldering. And some people say that the newer refrigerant is under a higher pressure and that some older lines sometimes may not hold them as well. So I opted to go ahead and get the copper lines replaced. A condensate pump, when your heat pump runs, the air handler, you can get a lot of condensation, just like when you set a soft drink out on the table and then you'll see the little bubbles of condensation on it. So they may have to replace your condensate pump with that and that can add to the cost by 150 to 100 bucks or so. And whether you get a split system or just an all-in-one unit can have a difference of the, in the price. And an all-in-one unit are those units where it, the condenser and air handler are one unit and they're usually just outside and they connect through a large square opening like this into your home. A split system, the condenser is going to be outside and you're just going to have a hole in the wall about like this where the pipes run through and connect to the air handler. So the... Uh, all-in-one package units are usually a little bit cheaper and they're easier for the contractor to install because literally they just have to disconnect it there and hook it up whereas it's a little bit more complicated to install the split systems but then split systems are sometimes a little bit more efficient and can last a little bit longer so those are some things that can affect the pricing of it and now when i got mine for 4800 i feel like i got a pretty good deal because i got a new condensate pump the contractor installed a drip pan. They made a minor modification and put an air return, a small air return in my basement to help draw out some of the humidity there. And it was just a small section, but they added an air return in the basement, a new condensate pump, a new copper wiring, and that was all they basically had to do. And, and then switch out the system and make sure the refrigerant was charged properly. And again, that was $4,800. And when I had my system done, they did it in one day. They came, it was two guys, they came in, they swapped out, they took out the old unit, they put in the new unit, they cleaned up their mess, and they were gone like probably four o'clock in the afternoon. It was great, in and out, I paid them the money and everything was done. Now a few tips when you go to get estimates, again, is you wanna get at least three or four estimates. You want to go with the person that you feel is gonna do the best job and are the person that's listening to your needs and isn't trying to cut corners or just sell you the cheapest system or or sell you the, all these extra add-ons that you don't need. So watch out for that. You also want to check reviews online. And my contractor, when, the guy I went with, even though he was the lowest price, he was a relatively new business, but he had a legitimate business. He had a real building that he worked out of. And when I went, went to check reviews online, he didn't have a lot of reviews, but he had no problems. He was listed with the Better Business Bureau I found no complaints, no issues at all online. And so I, I decided to give it a shot and I'm glad I did because I've had the heat pump now for a year and they did a quality job installing it. So always check reviews, always get two or three or four estimates. That way you can have a range of pricing and, and you can kind of compare because some people came in and one contractor came in and he told me I needed this new section of ductwork here because it wasn't a uh, insulated enough the other guys i could log my my duct work was fine and it wouldn't be an issue so you can kind of take what the different contractors say and ask questions and all that so that's a, some sample pricing for you I, the reason i made this video is because when i was looking for prices online i couldn't find anything but they are quite expensive and you can look to pay quite a bit of money it's probably going to set you back at least about four thousand or so if you have just an average size unit upwards to about six to eight or even ten thousand dollars and again if you go for some of these extra higher energy efficiency units then it's going to cost a little bit more money so i hope that helps you out if, good luck with your heat pump purchase and thank you so much for watching